Me and John are here to help get us through the season. Don't forget my adage, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. <laughs> I love Chuck. I love to hear him say that. So it's that time of year. Christmas trees, menorahs, coats, hats, gloves, and dry skin, right? Yeah. So John Jordan is here with us to look at ways to winterize your skin this season and not having those dry, cracked hands that I get that we were just talking mm -hmm. about. And he is the dewiest dude that we know here at the station. <laughs> so thanks for being here. Thank you. And helping us because this is hard. Well, yeah. And winter skin, when you don't take care of your skin, it can be unsightly, but right. it can be painful too. You know, that's not a good situation. So okay. let's start with some basics, right. okay? The first thing that you have to do is exfoliate because if your skin is dry and cracked and rough, you have to get rid of those dead skin cells. Right. So I recommend an exfoliant and it doesn't have to be expensive. All of these things I got at Target and, and Trader That's Joe's, perfect. okay? Um, the next thing that you do is you have to moisturize, okay. all right? And everybody should wear moisturizer every day, every, every, night no and day. What, right? Your skin just shouldn't be without moisturizer. Okay. I like at this time of year for um, feet and elbows and knees a balm. And this mm. is super, super dense and really, really thick. Okay. And that will take care of all of those areas that get super dry and, and cracked. Cracky, right? Okay. And then? Hand sanitizers you know, are I like all over sanitizer. the place. We have to keep healthy, yeah. but they're all alcohol based. So they're going mm -hmm. to, you know, they're going to make your skin drier. They're going to really hurt your, your fingers if you don't take care of them. So you want to put a hand lotion on it. If you're using hand soap, mm -hmm. go from a clear soap uh, to one that's uh, opaque. The uh, opaque okay. formulas will always be more moisturizing. The same goes with shampoo. Gotcha. If you're using a shampoo that is clear, switch to something that is opaque or even one that has this one is called dry oil. I love it. People are afraid of stuff that says oil because okay. they think that their skin's going to be oily and right. greasy. Right. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to learn to layer. All Let's right. Let's talk about that because right. you don't know what order to do things in. Every article says something different. Put your sunscreen on first, moisturizer second. What's what's the process? Okay. Well, the for right instance, process. this is what I use when I get out of the shower every morning. I use this argan oil, and it's actually for your hair. Okay. But I'm going to just take Can a I little of this. Some? Absolutely. Okay, so, you know, I put this all over and then this I put nice. a moisturizer. I'll use this one. Okay. Then I use a moisturizer on top of that. And so what you can hmm. do is let that set okay. and go back and you can put another layer on. You can alternate okay. between uh, an oil and a moisturizer okay. or a heavy moisturizer and a lighter moisturizer. Okay. I got you. Um, you can't have too many layers of moisture on. Okay. So that's the, the that's art that. of layering. Um, Let's talk the, about the multi-purpose. Yes, yeah. multi-purposing is um, a great option. And for instance, this is something that I found at Target. It's called Three in One, and this is shampoo, conditioner, and wash. Hmm. But for instance, like in my shower, there's no soap bar. I've always shampooed, you know, my hair and my body with the same product. Okay. It's okay. much kinder to the skin on your body. All right. So you know. This again is something that I use. It's technically for your hair. Right. This Moroccan argan oil. It feels amazing on your body though. And I put it all over. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, hair, face, body, everything. Fabulous. So there are some natural ingredients Let's too. Let's talk about it. All right. Well, so again, when I was at Target, I found this uh, sugar and mango scrub. Well, that's Lala. basically mango and sugar and the reason that you put sugar in a scrub is because it's granular okay all right so okay. you can make your own scrub with something like oatmeal if you want a little bit more gentle yes. formula yes. you could put cornmeal in it if you want it to be a little bit more abrasive and add an orange just okay. a fresh just squeezed squeeze orange there has fruit acids. So you're not only okay. exfoliating with a granular substance, you're actually using fruit acids Acid, to exfoliate you. your skin. Got you. Um, if, if you want a little bit moisture, moisture, moisture formula, right. then you can use something like avocado. Okay. Avocado is great for your skin. It's great for your hair. It's okay. great to eat. Okay. 
Cute. And I love this on my face and yep. this on your eyes. Yep. Cucumber, okay. if you cut it on a bias, it won't like fall off. So Perfect. just, you know, cut it so that it's an oval shape. And then we have a lime down there so that you can have vodka and tonic after. And he knows me well. Thank you so much for all the advice.